Welcome back to part two of drawing in a sketchbook. Continuing with my Hong Kong themed sketchbook or art journal, today's sketch is of dim sum dumplings. They are very famous here in Hong Kong. You can see the photograph in the top right hand corner that I've used to reference this drawing. Some of the best dim sum places can be hole in the wall places run by ma and pa businesses. You can spend almost nothing and eat fabulously. Conversely, you can spend an absolute fortune eating dim sum here. It is quite a traditional food. Anyway, today is a celebration of the humble dumpling and that is what I'm drawing. I used a 0.5 and a 0.1 fine liner, some black ink, local newspaper, some varnish, embroidery thread and a needle. One of the concerns I have when I'm drawing is about the composition and symmetry of the piece. Trying to balance the page so that the drawing sits comfortably on the page. I have got a drawing which sits lower than I would normally like, so I'm going to need to balance that out a little bit later with some collage. I prepared most of the paper for my sketchbook before I started drawing and I did this by using jelly prints. I used stencils and I used botanicals. I will attach the link to the bottom of this for the video and the process if you are interested. One of the fabulous things about having an art journal or a sketchbook is that the expectation of creating a finished piece of work and it being amazing and perfect, it's really not there. An art journal is for yourself. It is for you to play around with images, with form, with tone, as I'm doing here, to add some collages if you fancy. It's an explore. It is a time and place for you to also lose yourself in the drawing process or the creating process. It's almost like a diary, but it's visual. So once the drawing is finished, it's time for me to add my collage bits. I bought a local newspaper, I found an old drawing of dim sum and ripped that up and try to balance this piece out a little bit more, making it a little more interesting. I love combining these elements together. I love creating texture. And I think that it sits on the page pretty well at this stage. Now, I do want to pull out that pink color you can see in there with some embroidery thread and make a few stitches. I think that that will add a bit more interest and a little bit more texture. I will finish this off with a beautiful acrylic varnish which will kind of set all the colours together and make them pop a little bit. You absolutely do not need to finish it off by using a varnish. I have chosen to do so because I like the way the colours pop when I use it and because I've used collage in this work it helps attach the collage to the paper. Thank you for joining. Enjoy.